guys welcome to another episode of fella diaries today we're going to be talking about how i made my first profit as a beginner in the nigerian stock market you know i used to think that the nigerian stock market was way over my head but somehow i managed to make my first profit let me tell you exactly how it happened So guys, at the end of the episode, I'm going to be giving you like three personal takeaways that helped me navigate the stock market as a whole. If you're interested in getting into the stock market, you should definitely wait to hear it. Now, let's get into it. A couple of years ago, I was scrolling through the streets of Instagram and I saw a beautiful lady talking about how you can invest your money, how you can pin your money in the stock market, how you'll be getting 20, 30%, 15% from it after a couple of months to a year. The African in me was intrigued because anything that has to do with money, you can bet your ass I would get on it. So I was listening, I'm like, okay, so how can we do this? And how do we do this? So she was talking about how you can get some apps. I've mentioned one, uh, Optimus by Afri Invest. You can buy stocks on them. So why don't I try? Because, well, I wanna make money. So I got on it, I downloaded it, I did everything, I verified. And then it was time to get a stock and I'm okay. So what stock do I buy? I put some amount of money into the, the wallet to experience the market. And I was scrolling through the, the list of stocks that was listed on the NGF. First stock that piqued my interest was First Bank. First Bank would be a good choice because, well, First Bank is one of the oldest banks in Nigeria. They're definitely doing something well. That's why they can stay so long in the finance sector. So I'm like, okay, fine. Let me get First Bank. And I did. Secondly, I was scrolling through and I saw Transcorp Hilton. I was just telling myself that this is a good thing to invest in because there's hardly a time you go there that they wouldn't be booked. They must be doing something right. Yeah. I got it. And I kept scrolling because I wanted to try with like three stocks and I got two already. And finally, I saw Dangote Sugar. Dangote is one of the most renowned business person in Africa. He's actually one of the richest person in Africa. So he must be industrious. Let me buy Dangote Sugar and see what will happen. So I did. I got the three stocks and I waited. I just kept it and I kept looking at it. And within a couple of weeks to a month, I kept seeing growth in my money. My money was increasing. I was seeing 5%, 10%. All I'm like, ow, is this real? Is this happening to me? So I just made my first profit in the Nigerian stock market. Now, this stock listed not in any way a financial advice. Again, I'm going to reiterate it as much as possible. Whatever you're putting your money in, you should be willing to do a lot of research into it. Okay, do your own research. It cannot be overemphasized. Now, I'm going to be giving three personal takeaways that helped me in navigating this whole stock market journey. One, is if you come online today and you, you're seeing the stock doing so well, or they're merging, or there's like a positive news in the stock and you think you want to buy it, and you feel like, oh, this is the time to buy it, I assure you it isn't. Do your buying. Make sure you buy when people don't know too much about it. That is how to make money in the stock market. The second personal takeaway is that if you're buying a stock, be sure to buy low and say hi. Don't buy a stock that is already doing so well and you feel like you want to jump on it, make a little bit of money and jump out of it. Oh my God, you're going to crash so hard, crash and burn. Then thirdly, leverage the economy. We're all complaining about how we are spending so much buying for you know, transportation and everything. Have you asked yourself, that the people that own this oil and gas companies, how much they are making, the people that have invested in it, why are you complaining about the rise in the cost of oil? People are making money from the rise in the cost of oil. Searching for a way to be leveraging that pain. You complain about MTA, what MTA is doing to your data, what LTA is doing to your data. Do you know you can be making money from it all? Try to leverage on the things that are around you. This world has come to a stage where it's now a two-way street. If you're buying a product, a certain amount, you should also find a way to be making money from that product in another way. I just came here to do today. And that is what I have learned from the stock market in general. Okay? Now, it's not too early to start investing. It's not too late to start investing. Start now. Start today. Once again, this is Ella, your personal finance girly. <laughs> For watching, subscribe, like, comment, and put on your notification for my next video. Mwah. Bye.